my name is Andreas Bevark, and this is my masterclass. Jumping with snowmobiles. Nothing excites me more than getting up in the air, being weightless. It's you, the snowmobile, just flying through the air, and time just stops. In this series, I'm gonna take you step by step through what I believe is important to know when you are jumping with your snowmobile. I have been snowmobiling my whole life, and I have always found it really interesting to jump. And over the years I have pushed my limits higher and higher. The footage we're gonna show you is on my riding with my experience. If you're a beginner, it's really important that you start small, just like I did when I was younger. The technique when doing a big jump is the same when you're doing a small jump. In this episode, we are gonna talk about the jump, how to find a good location and how to build it. A good location to find a jump is a small hill. Then you can use the slope to help you build the jump. And you need a landing that have a nice down going slope also. A good rule to follow is that if the jump is steep, the landing also need to be steeper. Just because you're going higher up in there. And if the jump is more flat, the landing can also be smoother, flatter. When you have found the perfect location, you're happy with it, make sure that you ride the in-run a few times and that the direction of the jump is towards the landing. I don't know how many times I have cheated, didn't do this, ending up building a jump that's actually going the wrong way. Make sure that both the in-run and the landing is free from some hidden rocks or trees that might be in the way. And if everything looks good, you can start shoveling the jump. Always make it just a little bit wider than necessary, just because it will be more stable and hold together better. You can use your shovel to smash the snow together and also use a snowmobile to ride up and down to, to use the weight of the snowmobile to push it together. And also maybe find some hidden bumps in there that you may not see. When you feel that the jump is ready, always take a second look from the side, think about how much speed do I need, how far is it to the landing, make sure you have a good plan. And now you are ready to do your first try. In the next episode, we are going to talk about body position and how to control your snowmobile mid-air. If you have questions about this episode, comment below and I see you in the next one.